You know, a lot of guys here are brand new cops, street cops. We're gonna talk about vehicle identification number. You know, somebody asked me, what color is the car? Can I figure it out from the VIN number? No, you can't. It's a 17 digit fingerprint for a car. A color is not included in that. But that 17 digit fingerprint for the car will not repeat. So that 17 digits has been standard since 1981. Before that, there were shorter VIN numbers. We're gonna concentrate on just vehicle VIN numbers for now. So. Everything decodes into a certain algorithm. So the first three digits, the world manufacturer identified, the first digit is the country that that vehicle is manufactured in. So if it's a one, it's made United States of America. If it's a two, it's Canada. Three is Mexico. It doesn't have to be a numeric. It could be a letter. And we'll talk about that in a second. The vehicle descriptor section is comprised of the kind of engine or the transmission that the car has. What kind of components are built into that vehicle? The check digit, it's a mathematical equation which you, you don't need to know it, right? It just checks that that whole VIN number is a legitimate VIN number. The model year in green, that's the year that the vehicle is produced, right? That's the model year of that specific vehicle. The plant is specific to the manufacturing location of that car. So if you had a BMW produced somewhere in uh, South Carolina, there's going to be a certain digit that's going to represent that South Carolina plant. And then the sequential number is the last six digits. So if you think about how many like 2020 Honda Accords are manufactured every year, I mean, tens of thousands of Honda Accords, right? The first 11 digits of, the, of that VIN might be identical. The last six digits are what's gonna differentiate between this car and this car and the next car, right? So it will not repeat. These VIN numbers will not repeat. 